Hey guys, it's Danielle Vita Plastica, and I'm here doing a review of the Luna Noir vehicles. Um, that's the camper and the Jeep made by our generation um, dolls. Now, my camera is very weird with videos, so I'm going to be taking a lot of breaks so that I don't overwhelm it and I'll just have to piece it all together. Um, so, let's get started. Okay, first up we have the Jeep. Um, so this was originally pink, like sort of a magenta, and I took out the seat and I disconnected this part. I don't know what you call that. And the wheels. No, I did not disconnect the wheels. Um, I took out the lights on the front and the back. There's the back. And there's the front. And everything comes apart really, really easily. I was really pleased. I, but I couldn't get the wheels out, so I covered those in, um, like, plastic grocery bags until, um, I mean, while I was painting and stuff. So I covered the seat in fake leather, and unintentionally the glue kind of, well, it's, like, darker in some parts. Let me get that out. Yeah. Is this even focusing properly? I dropped my camera, so my autofocus is not happy with me. And for some reason, maybe I have a vision problem. I find it really hard to focus on things with this camera. Um, it's almost like I can't see what's in front of me enough. I'm sorry, I totally went off on a tangent. Anyway, so I covered the seats with fake leather and uh, just made a little cut and put a little uh, like wisp of cotton ball there. Sorry, to look like, you know, uh, upholstery stuffing. Um, and there's some... Um, yeah, I basically just painted the whole, uh, the bottom interior black, and, um, I'm totally going out of order. I'm sorry, I've never done something like this before, but I better get used to it. So, here's what I did. Took it, took everything apart, sprayed it all down with Krylon for plastic in flat white, and then I found this camouflage, uh, spray paint that's, I think, made for boats, and it was really weird to work with. It was, um... It was, uh, like, if you touched it, you would come off with, like, powder on your hands. So I did brush this and wash this really good after. Um, so after I did that layer, then I just went in with watered-down acrylic paint and dripped in all of the cracks as much as possible. Um, and the good thing about that camouflage paint is it gave it a great texture. Am I totally out of focus? It gave it a really great texture that really made the black acrylic watered down acrylic paint really really stick these I just spray painted black I was thinking about adding some because you know this part's usually kind of like has a rubbery thing on it this is like a rubbery little jacket um I was going to do something with that but I decided against it because it's fine um so before I did the painting or maybe I did the layer of white first I can't remember I cut out this part because this is a huge amount of space. You can get lots of stuff in here. And I kind of regret putting in my boom and sound system, but um, I, I took apart a, um, a, a, an alarm clock, a clock radio, to get parts to make little things for them. And I couldn't resist. I mean, I just thought it was really cute. I like, pimped their ride. But they can fit, still fit some things in here, like uh, the guitar fits in there, and that's good, but I might just end up sort of propping it where they need to ride around with it, and I'd like to make them some luggage, but, um, oh yeah, so then after all of that painting was done, I put this here because the background's a little distracting, so I'm sorry. I just splash it like crazy with watered-down Georgia Red Clay. Sorry, I'm totally forgetting the cameras here. Like, I have a cameraman that's just moving this around as I talk. Um, so this is all just mud, actual mud. And I tried not to get too much on the seats because that George Red Clay really stains. So um, for the windshield, I originally put Elmer's glue here and let it dry in a little sheet. I think I'd seen uh, my froggy stuff do that. Sorry, I'm trying to focus here. Um, but then it, when it came off, it was just too clean and the shape wasn't quite right. So I just took a popsicle stick 
and kind of wet this whole area and just pretended I was the windshield wiper and just scraped the windshield. And I really like the effect, but you can't see the girls in it when they're riding around if you're filming them from from this way. So I, I, I don't know. I don't really want to clean, clean it up, though, because I, I like it, but maybe I'll do a touch of that, I guess. Um, so I guess that's it for the, uh, the Jeep. Uh, I was really pleased with the way this thing is designed. Barbie things are really hard to take apart, and this was really easy. It was not quite as easy to do the caravan, but we'll talk about that next. Okay, next we're going to talk about the caravan. This was originally in silver, and it had a magenta trim around the windows, but I wanted it to be a little more metallic because it was really more like a very pearly gray. Um, so the first thing I did was gutted everything as much as I possibly could. This was a little harder to take apart um, than the... Actually, it was it was a lot harder to take apart than the... Um, the Jeep. But um, most of it was very, very easy and I was able to do it without having to cut away at any plastic or anything. So it originally had like a white tile floor and I was almost thinking about keeping some of it and painting it, but in the end it just, I just didn't really want to bother with it. So instead I put down this bamboo flooring. Let's move in and make sure you're focused because the cameraman has the day off. I'm totally playing hockey from work today. It's great. Please don't view my videos, bosses. It's a mental health day. Okay, so um, I've had these bamboo placemats forever, and they are just beautiful. And I use them for so many. I use them for so many uh, like Barbie diorama projects. So I covered the floor with that, and also um, this little area, which I. I don't, I don't know. I thought it could be like a cute little practice space for them. They could sit in there and uh, jam and write songs and stuff. So I didn't know what to do with that area. So I just went ahead and put more of the flooring down. Um, and I went over it with really watered down gray paint. I don't think I did it with this floor. It looks sort of different. I guess I just didn't do a very good job. I you probably can't see it. Anyway, see, that could be a little stage area. See how the little bed, the little stool sits right there? That could be cute. Let me get you guys some more light. All right, so, right, so I did the floors there. I'll just go and tell you everything I did because if I try to do it in order, we're going to be here forever. Uh, I, I had done the walls in purple at one point because I didn't know what I was going to do with this, with the caravan. Uh, the caravan and the Jeep came from my sister. Uh, her daughter had grown out of her American Girl doll and wanted to give away all of the American Girl doll type accessories. So that's cool. Now she likes Barbies and one day she'll like BJDs. Well, she already likes them, but her mother's not going to pay that money. She's like 10. Okay, so I there was a bed here like that folded out. That was really cute. Um, but it just took up too much floor space. So I basically ripped it out. I totally ripped it out. And this is an old purse. Uh, it was like a clutch and I I loved it so much because this is my favorite kind of leopard skin pattern. And um, it's just, it, it's it's fuzzy. It, it was just my favorite purse, but it's it, I don't use it anymore. So I thought the dolls could. And those are some pillows that I made a while back for the golden serpent. I did collages all over the walls. This used to be from, I built a, a Barbie dive bar and um, it's like focusing on a Amanda Sandberg for that. Okay, anyway, um, what did I think? Yeah, so these used to be the dive bar walls and then I had more stuff to it and I washed it over with a watered down brown to make it look a little aged. And I put a couple of little hooks in there to hold things. Um, oh, and there were curtains here that were attached. I just cut them off. I have, um, just seeing if I can put my eyes on it now. There's, um, I have a, another type of like bamboo uh, placemat or, yeah, I think it was originally a placemat. And I made little 
curtains out of them, but I don't want to block out any light if at all possible, so I don't know. Maybe I'll find a way that they can hang on there and be removed easily. Um, so I guess that was it for the interior. On the exterior, um, like I said, I painted it. Uh, so, well, first I did a layer of, first I taped up all the windows, did a layer of Krylon for plastic white, and then a layer of just like regular silver. Um, and then I washed over it with watered down and not so watered down uh, black uh, acrylic paint. And these are from the dollar store, so I just hot glued those in. And um, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. Uh, place for reflectors. I should probably work on that. Oops, I left the light on. Um, and then I just took some pictures from my husband's music magazines and made stickers out of them by just sticking them on some box tape and cutting around it. And then um, I think they're just on with, uh, what do you call it, like glue stick glue? So I still have to do a license plate. I cut out a little template for it, but um, I don't. Sh I don't know if my penmanship is good enough to to do that. But uh, you know what? I'll just why not? I can just try that. So that is it. This video is dedicated to oscillate wildly. I finally did it. I finally did the dang video. So I hope to see your ice cream truck soon. And, um, yeah, I really love our generation stuff, and I don't know. I'd like to see if I can get some more in the future. They have a nice desk out that I'd like to try. Um, all right, so I guess that's it, and I will see you guys next time.